We are broadcasting or webcasting live right now with the Jesus Network in Albany, Oregon. And on the telephone, we have uh, Pastor Anthony from Uganda. And uh, Pastor, I apologize for not being able to pronounce your last name. Uh, could you give us your last name, please? Uh, my last name is Chinarwa. Chinarwa. That's my last name. Pastor Chin- Anthony Chinawa. Yeah, Chinarwa. Mm, L-W-A, Chinarwa. Mm, that's my last name. It's a more traditional name back home in my home country, Uganda. So what's going on in Uganda from a, from a spiritual standpoint, from uh, spreading Jesus uh, in the country? What's happening in your country? Uh, basically, Uganda, uh, what caused revival? There is a lot of revival going on in our country. Uganda once was totally far away from God when people were worshipping idols and people were worshipping evil spirits in the mountains, and whereby the missionaries had brought the Word of God to come and show the light of Jesus Christ. When they were away from from, from God, something happened. God made them to be more desperate that they will seek His face. Right as I'm talking right now, the move of God is so mightily uh, moving. The Spirit of God is... The moment you land on an international airport in Entebbe, you start sensing the Spirit of God. It is started by God allowing His children to turn to Him. It was either the softer way or the hard way, because they have been far away from God for quite many years ago. But until when something started happening in our country, whereby the oppression the confusion people, even in schools, the, the children used to be affected by the demons from the, from the mountains, whereby because people went to invoke them out. But until when they became more desperate, they had no answer, they needed to turn to God. For the Bible declares that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. People started calling upon the name of the Lord in a mighty way, believing that God will answer. And that's how the Holy Spirit started moving mightily in our country. After being desperate and confused for many years, we got answers when we called upon God. Now you say you got answers. Did you see more healings? How do you? How did you see God move? God moves because you know something. What is happening over there? Even Muslims are getting saved. You can't believe it. We are preaching the gospel. Yeah, the doors are still open uh, in, in junior schools, in high school, in universal schools. Even we do crusades in different parts of the city and villages and communities. It wasn't the way it was before. Why? Because uh, the many of us, we have been far away from God. We went for a lot of pain. We saw uh, different people dying the street when we, before when, we, we, when Uganda was in a political unstable. But we thank God today we have a God-fearing president in our country. We have a, 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 his, his wife uh, is a born-again Christian. She's a spirit-filled lady. She's always on his side. When you call her for the overnight prayer, she comes. When you call the president for the overnight, he comes. So, meaning that the leaders, if truly they are deep in God, I'm telling you, the nation will be blessed. The nation is on a move because even the leaders for a nation, they trust in God. They are Christians. That's how the Spirit of God starts moving. Because if a leader endorses the move of God, that we are, we are open to the Spirit of God to move in our country, in our hearts, that's how it is started that way. And I'm, I'm telling you, People are getting healed, even if we've got some testimonies of people who have been healed of AIDS, you cannot believe. We've seen cancer disappear from the blood of the people. We've seen tumors disappear when we worship and pray and call upon the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We've seen people, lame walk. We've seen a lot happen in our country. That is one of the signs that a move of God is so mighty in our country. And you believe yeah. that also one of the reasons that God is moving so mightily is the people were calling out to him, the people wanted him, correct? Yes, people were desperate. When you read the book of Psalm 63, David was in the wilderness and he was thirsty. You can just imagine being thirsty for years without water in your country. How many people die? But now this means that in the spirit, Uganda became so thirsty that they needed more and more and more and more of God because we were in the spiritual wilderness. When you're in the spiritual wilderness, the truth is that you need to know who will give you the water because you cannot stop the thirst unless you find water. 
We are thirsty for the Holy Spirit. We are thirsty for the move of God. We are thirsty to know the truth. We are thirsty to know why is it this way. Until God had to open it to say that you've been desperate because you've been worshiping idols. You've been desperate because you've been away from me. The moment the nation turns away from God, God makes it a hardy way for you to come back. But if the nation obeys, just like you remember what happened to Jonah, when the, 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 small, the small city... Uh, of Nineveh, they were there, turned away from God, they were doing all the evil. God said, Jonah, go and warn those people because my judgment is coming upon them. And this happened when the, all the leader and all the people around, even the dogs, even all other animals and every, he said that all of us are going to fast because God will destroy us if we don't turn to him. That's where Uganda was. When the Ninevites repented, God forgave that city that contained 120,000 people. God is merciful. The move of the Holy Spirit in our country started because God heard our cry and he answered the prayer of, so of our country. Yeah, the, the, sure. the country of Uganda was under uh, severe oppression for quite some time. The president and his uh, wife, you say, are now followers of Jesus Christ. Is there a lot of things in the country that need to be rebuilt, uh, buildings and culture and so on? Yes, uh, yes, there, there is a lot that we need to do exactly when you talk about in the future. But there are other communities which are not, are not yet unreached because uh, since even though the move of God is so mighty, there are communities that need support, there are communities that need hospitals, there are communities that need schools, there are communities that need... I'm saying this because I know what it means when the community, the move of God is so mighty, sometimes the enemy takes advantage because we, there's something sometimes, well, I have to say this, because in Uganda, it, it wasn't easy to see Muslims coming to Jesus. Mm -hmm. But now what they're doing, they are seeing them, they are seeing the move of God is so mightly, and even some sheikhs of the mosques are getting saved, you can't believe it. Those who have been leading, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean Muslim faith, they are getting saved because of the move of God is mighty. But other Muslims who are not born again and they are not believing in Christianity, what they are doing, they are getting funding from the Arab countries to be able to construct good schools, to construct good hospitals that even Christians will run to them. And then when you go there for treatment, then they say the only point you need to do, they want you to, be, to, to become a Muslim. And we won't allow that. Our point is, what can the Church of Jesus Christ do in order not to, to, to lose what God has already brought back? That's my we next question. Praying, what can we yes, do? Yes. It is, it is to see what we can work on in hand to make sure that even in those communities whereby we need hospitals, like a community hospital, you know, in the community, if there is a hospital, if there is a school, if there is a, a prayer center, you have already answered the prayer of that community. If all communities have got a school, have got a hospital, have got a prayer center, then God wants to be there. If people are sick, we'll find where to go to the hospital. If people are sick physically, they'll be treated. If people are sick spiritually, they'll be prayed for. If uh, students, kids are lacking school, they will find where they go to school. So you become more purpose, and the move of God cannot be stopped because there is all the needs in that village, in that community, in that division. That is exactly what is needed in my home country, Uganda. All righty. Pastor Anthony, I uh, look forward to talking to you again in the future, and thank you for sharing with us what's going on in your country and how God has moved mightily. We will keep yeah. your country in prayer, as we are many countries, including right now the United States, which is mm -hmm. uh, uh, having a uh, large hurricane uh, facing the northeast seaboard. So mm -hmm. we're praying for oh. those people as well. Yes, that would be so wonderful, and it was nice talking to you. I hope to hear from you and sending you email. It will be a t good time to meet again and talk more and more. I believe what America needs today is to come uh, on the level to know that they need to depend on God. But the only way is the value and the weapon called prayer. America is a godly nation. God loves America. God blessed America mightily. God is calling America back on its knees. And when we do that, we are going to rise up again. May God bless Uganda. May God bless America. 
Good word. Great word. Thank you for sharing that with us. Pastor Anthony from Uganda. I'm Dave Adams. This is TJN, the Jesus Network, all together. Ugandans, Americans, Canadians, uh, Chinese, Australians. uh, We're having a lot of people around listening to TJN. All together, it is time to change the planet. Amen. God bless you so much.